are you most looking forward to playing against? Yeah, I have to say, uh, I don't like to say the word, but, uh, <laughs> but Manchester United, yeah. Erling Holland became Manchester City's strongest weapon and United's worst nightmare. But did you know that the Norwegian could have been a Red Devil? His career could have taken such a different path. Here's the story behind United's rejection of a promising and precocious Erling Holland. Norwegian Wood. Holland may be Manchester City's most potent threat, but his career could have taken him to the red side of Manchester. Before bagging goals in Austria, Germany, and England, Erling Holland was just a teenager dreaming of becoming a professional footballer. The prodigious talent had just joined Norwegian giants Molde, where he met one of his nation's biggest names, Ole Gunnar Sokter. And Ole just couldn't believe what he was witnessing. Sokter can brag about being the first coach to really see Holland's improvement as a professional. Erling scored 16 goals in 30 matches during the 2018 campaign. And Sokter soon understood that he wouldn't be playing in Norway for much longer. He knew that any big team would snap at the opportunity of signing one of Europe's hottest prospects. Inevitably, Ule's first option was Manchester United and decided to offer Holland services to the Premier League giants. So why on earth didn't the Red Devils sign him? The phone call. Wanting Man United to sign the Norwegian, Sokter tried to pull some strings. John Vick, Mulder's former chief scout, revealed the exact moment at which Erling was offered to the Red Devils. I walked down to see Ule Gunnar Sokter, who was Mulder's manager, and I said, you have to call Man United, mate. This is unreal what we're looking at. Aware that any scout could poach Holland from his former team, Sokter decided to make the first move, even though that meant losing his rising star. Ule agreed with almost everything. I will put a phone call in, he said. They need to hear about this kid. Ule put the phone call in, so the name was put in. Then, how or whether United followed it up, I don't know. So what happened? Why aren't we witnessing a Holland CR7 duo at Old Trafford? In a recent sit-down with Sky Sports, Holland was interviewed by United legend Gary Neville, who quizzed him on the matter every Red Devil wanted to know. Ule was your manager. How are you not at Manchester United? Asked Neville. And Holland gave a short but mysterious answer. You have to ask him. Come on, Erling. We need some details. Were United unsure of signing Alfie Holland's son due to his days as a citizen? Or did they simply not pick up the phone when Solter called? The worst decision. Holland may be a City fan, but there's no way United's board were aware of that. The reason they rejected that promising striker was purely financial. The Red Devils had signed Fred a year before for 59 million euros and were happy with their attacking options. Now we have absolutely nothing against Fred, obviously, but considering that Red Bull Salzburg signed Erling a few months later for only 8 million euros, we can say with certainty that Manchester United made the worst possible decision. The Red Devils missed a unique opportunity to sign one of the best players in the world, and Sokter wouldn't be reunited with his protege when he became United's coach after his spell with Molde. In fact, Ule was asked about Holland back then, and a sense of nostalgia seeped through his comments. I normally never comment on opposition players, but since I've had Arling, I'm just delighted for him. He's a top boy, absolutely fantastic kid that you, you want the best for. We feel you, Ule. The Norwegian striker had some spectacular seasons at Red Bull Salzburg and Borussia Dortmund, scoring as many goals as games played, and finally taking the leap and joining a UCL title contender. Now, Holland is City's superstar, and he demonstrated his divine talents in the Manchester Derby by netting a hat trick against the team who previously rejected him. And he fulfilled his desire, the one he admitted to in his unveiling as a citizen. Yeah, I have to say, uh... I don't like to say the word, but, uh, <laughs> but Manchester United, yeah. There you have it. The story behind one of the worst decisions ever made by Manchester United. Holland forged his own path in football, and destiny led him to the blue side of Manchester. Do you think he would have agreed to join United? And how would he have performed at Old Trafford? Let us know in the comments. Now, as we've seen, United said no to a potential signing of Holland. But the Norwegian isn't the only footballer offered to and ultimately rejected by the Red Devils board. Oh My Goal investigated this issue and found some incredible examples, such as the original Ronaldo, who was inches away from a move to Old Trafford, and you won't believe the bizarre motive for declining him. Check out our video on four players rejected by Manchester United for ridiculous reasons. See you next time.